Hi, my name is Andrew Varga with Razorback Off-Road, and today we're excited to bring you one of our new side puller winch rack products. Um, this one is designed specifically for the Ranger XD1500 machine, and we'll be installing it on the 2024 version today. And if you have any fitment questions about the machines, um, please go on to our website at razorbackoffroad.com and we'll have our machine fitment chart there that you can refer to to see if this rack will be compatible with your machine. First, I'll go over the tools that you're gonna be needing to install this rack onto your machine. So you're gonna need um, some box wrenches, specifically a 10 millimeter, a 3 8 a 7 16 a half inch, and a 13 millimeter. And you're gonna need the equivalent in, in sockets. Um, you're gonna need some clippers because we're gonna be using zip ties and you'll need to trim off the tags. A uh, Phillips screwdriver, and I'm gonna be using an impact just for the installation purposes to kind of help speed it up. It might be a good idea to apply some Loctite to the bolts before you start putting them in. Because this will be going down the road and it'll experience a lot of vibrations, stuff that you're doing off road, so it might be a good idea to put some Loctite on. Those are gonna be kind of the basic essential tools that, you're, that you'll need. So what will come on the rack, um, we have a lot of mounting locations. We have this wonderful Molly pattern on the back side, and we have our signature It Fits accessory mount locations on the back side of this as well. And as you can see, we kind of have all these Molly mounting locations. So you have lots of options to mount all kinds of stuff you want on the back of your machine. So I'll dive into some of the other components. Okay, so you're gonna have three panels, you're gonna get a winch, and the winch will have um, wiring instructions provided with it. So if you have any questions about how to wire up your winch to the machine, you, you can refer to that manual. And then you're gonna get all the hardware for the winch. You're gonna have um, these LED lights also in your kit. And there's also wiring um, instructions in that as well. And then you're gonna have some of the other components that we'll provide onto the rack. So before you kind of get everything laid out and, and set up, I would highly suggest you use some sort of clamp to kind of clamp it to the table because it is a little bit tippy. So I would clamp it down that way it's nice and stable because we're going to be assembling a majority of the components right here on the table before we put it onto the machine. So to start in step number one, you're going to start with the uh, panel that has the badge on it and you're going to install it on the side. And for this, you're going to need uh, two quarter inch bolts and you're gonna need just a 3 8 socket. And when you tighten these on there, don't tighten them down all the way because we might need to make some fine adjustments from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this started. But I'm not gonna tighten it down all the way, that way I can make some adjustments. Okay, you're gonna have a, kind of a warning decal here on this uh, bracket in the rack. And all it's saying is just to read the product manual. We have a product manual that you can download off of our website. So go ahead and peel this off. And now we're gonna install the other side. And as I said before, that one has a badge. This one has kind of a slot right here. And what that's used for is to align with the mounting holes for the winch right here. So you just wanna make sure that you have those holes exposed, and you're gonna grab two more of these quarter inch bolts, and you're gonna go ahead and install them on the side, but don't tighten them down, not yet. So once you kinda of have those panels in place, next we're gonna install the winch. So on the winch, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the motor is facing away from you, kinda of like this towards the top right of the rack, and you wanna make sure that your, your hook is coming out of the bottom of the spool here. If it's not, you can take apart this, this pin right here that's holding on this hook and just feed it through the bottom. Make sure that the rope is coming through the bottom of the spool and point it up towards the middle of your rack. The bolt has one lock washer and one flat washer. You want the lock washer against the bolt head and you'll put that through the winch and then our rack bracket and then you're gonna put the flat washer and the, and the nylock nut on the bottom of it. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and get it started. 
and you can tighten it down, but don't tighten it down just yet all the way. We'll tighten everything kind of at the end here. I haven't installed the middle panel yet, so you can kind of have access to reach underneath here and get the, uh, the hardware started. And then I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter, two 13 millimeter box wrenches and kind of just get it, get it started here. But we're not gonna tighten it down all the way. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I've gotten this kind of tight, but still loose so I can make adjustments. The reason why is because when we put the middle panel on, which is what we're gonna do next, you wanna be able to kind of move these panels over the mounting holes here. So the next step is the middle panel. And this is just gonna go over top the smaller panels here. And then you're just gonna wanna align all of the mounting holes. You're gonna need six more of these quarter inch bolts. And then you're just gonna go ahead and get these all started. And see, I'm having to make some slight adjustments here already just to kind of get them all aligned where they need to be. Okay, once you have everything started, this is your last chance to just kind of make any small adjustments you want. And now you can go ahead and start tightening everything down. So I'm just gonna work basically from the outside in. So I'll start with this lower panel. Go ahead and tighten these down. Okay, now I'm gonna go on the inside here. And don't forget to tighten your winch bolts down. Make sure that these are tightened down all the way. All right, so now that you have everything tightened down, um, I will mention you probably don't want to put on any accessories yet because we haven't put it on the machine and it might get really heavy if you start filling this thing up with a bunch of accessories. So we're going to move to some of the components on the top of this rack. We'll start with the shackle bracket and you're going to take the quarter inch bolts and these are the longer bolts and you're going to need four of them and you're going to go ahead and install them through the top of the bracket. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this shackle bracket is below this mounting plate here. And to tighten this, you're gonna need a, a 3 8 socket and a 7 16 box wrench. And go ahead and you can tighten this all the way down. Next, I'm gonna install this bungee. Okay, and this is a quarter inch bolt as well. It's um, the longest quarter inch bolt that we put in into the package here and there's a couple of mounting locations you could even mount this on an it fit so that way you can put your hook kind of wherever you want on the panel here but for for now I like to just put it up here in this upper right hole and you're gonna go ahead and put this bungee on and it's gonna be the same tools the 3 8 and the 7 16 and you're gonna tighten this down Try not to tighten it too much because it will squish the rubber and you can kind of adjust it. And then you can put your hook right through this. And if it's loose, you can put this into free spool, the winch, and kind of take some of the slack out. Then re-engage the winch until it clicks again, just like that. And now it'll be out of your way when you put it on the machine. Next, I'm going to install the light brackets. And so our light brackets look like this. There's two mounting locations on top of the bar here. And you're going to use the quarter inch hardware, the shorter quarter inch hardware. And so just grab one of those. Um, before you install it, you might, it might be a good idea to install some Loctite to it. You're going to go ahead and get this started. And you're going to install the other bracket on the other side. Grab the 3 8 socket and go ahead and tighten it down all the way. The next thing I'm gonna go into is the lights. So you'll get a box with 
this light kit in it. And it's gonna come with a hardware to mount the light onto these brackets. So I'll kind of go into that. You'll see that there's the light itself and then there's these curved brackets. So there's a very specific order in which you need to install the hardware. So you're gonna have some shorter bolts and you're gonna have some longer bolts and this is all metric. And you're gonna have lock washers, regular flat washers and some tightening nuts. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to take the longer bolt and the lock washer and you're gonna to need to place it inside of this bracket so it's facing down. So you can see it's curved up and the bolt is facing down. The reason why you wanna do this first is that this is gonna go over the top of it. And if you don't install that first, you're gonna be in trouble because you won't be able to get that bolt in. Okay, so that's kind of step number one. Now you're gonna take the shorter bolt and you can hear that there's a nut already inside of the light here. And you're gonna take the shorter bolt and the lock washer, all right? And you're gonna place it on the back. So the curved part of the bracket will match the curvature of the back side of the light. And you'll kind of align this bolt through the back and into the nut that's already in the light, like so. And that way, when you have it like this, you can make adjustments to the light when you mount it. And the bolt's already pre-installed. To finish this process, you're gonna take the flat washer and the nut, and you're gonna have the light facing you because you want it to face into the bed of your machine. And you're gonna take the flat washer, install it first, and then the nut to tighten it. And I'm not gonna go into full detail of how to wire it. Like I said, the light box or the light product will come with some wiring instructions and you're gonna have to wire it yourself. But what I'll do is I'll just get the lights in place and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so now that I got the lights in place, I haven't tightened anything down because I'm sure you're gonna need to make some adjustments once you're done wiring it. These are all the components that you're gonna need to install on the table and now we're ready to get it installed onto the machine. So for the machine installation, these metric bolts should fit right in onto the stock frame of the machine. And if you can't tell which bolt I'm talking about, you can just come up to your machine and just make sure that these bolts go inside and thread nicely and not cross thread in there. You're gonna to wanna to grab two of these bolts and a 13 millimeter just to maybe help you get it started. And there's two mounting holes on each side. So you're gonna start with one bolt in just the top hole. Okay, and you're going to get it started and you can go ahead and tighten it in. Now we'll kind of dive into the electrical side of things. I'll kind of go over how to hook up the wiring for the winch. So we provided you with a, with a mounting bracket and this is specifically to mount the relay and the remote. So this has a, well, it's a wireless receiver for the wireless remotes. So the winch comes with two wireless remotes and then even a manual toggle switch. So we designed this bracket to be able to mount to your machine and also mount the relay and the wireless receiver. The winch will come with two wireless remotes and a manual toggle switch that you can manually run the winch in and out and then the wireless remotes obviously can do the same. 
but we wanted to provide you with a bracket so that way all of, all of these components aren't just flying around in the back. Uh, we wanted to give you a solid mounting option. So I'll talk about this relay a little bit. You're going to see it has a lot of letters on there. So it has an M minus, an M plus, a B minus, and a B plus. And then if you go over the motor, you'll see that it has two terminals sticking out of the top of it, and it has an M minus and it has an M plus. So the M stands for motor. So that means you're gonna take the wires from the winch motor, and you're gonna hook it up to the two terminals that are marked M minus and M plus on the relay. Then it has Bs. So the B plus and the B minus are the two wires that then run to the battery. So M for motor, B for battery. So that's gonna be how you wire up the relay to the motor and then to the bat to the battery itself. When you go to mount this relay onto the machine, and I'll show you where you specifically can mount it, but you'll notice that it has four holes on here, four slots, and this relay will fit into those slots. And we provide you even with the mounting hardware, so it comes with the longer quarter inch bolts, and you'll go in through the top. And then you'll put a nylock nut on the bottom. So there's four. And you're going to need a 7 16 and a 3 8 And then you're going to go ahead and tighten it down. So now that I have the relay mounted, the next one you can do is the remote. And there's two little holes on the side. And it has a slot kind of connecting them. So that's gonna be where the receiver is gonna be mounted. And you can try to bolt through it, but there's not much there. So we suggest small zip ties and you can go in through the hole at the top and zip tie it to the bracket itself. Okay, and I have both the, the tails kind of facing opposing each other. So I'll use the zip ties here. Okay, and use the clippers. Go ahead and clip these tails off. Okay, so that's how you mount the relay and the wireless receiver. And then the last hardware that you have here is these 516 bolts. Okay, so I'll show you where to mount it on the machine, but you're basically gonna go and put the bolt through the washer, and then you're gonna mount it in through the top, and then I'll show you on the machine where to mount it. Another thing that we provided was two extra holes in the bottom, so if you have fuses or anything else, you have a couple more mounting spots to put your fuses and or tie wires through it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you where to mount it in the machine. Before we get into that, you're gonna to need to lift the bed up and out of the way because we're gonna get need to get inside and face the relay towards the motor and you go ahead and put the bolts through like so okay so you're going to mount the bolts through the top like so. And so now that relay is faced towards the motor and the receiver's face kind of towards the side of the plastic here. Here's the motor of the machine and it's just kind of tucked up underneath there like that. Once you have those in there, you're gonna put the, the nuts on there and tighten it all down. And Probably before you do all this, you want to hook up all the wiring and stuff to your battery. But that's kind of the mounting location that you can put this bracket. Move the bed down, and that's just to make sure that everything has clearance and is good. So I'm going to discuss the manual toggle switch for the winch. In the winch box, you'll get two Phillips screws. And what is kind of nice is that you can take the toggle switch and you're going to mount it right in between the bar and the, the cab. There's two holes in the, in the, on the inside of this bracket. 
you're going to take the Phillips screws and you're just going to mount them through the top. And you can mount this toggle switch on the driver or the passenger side. It has mounting locations for both. And you're going to take a Phillips screwdriver. And you're just going to come in through the top. And there's two screws. And you'll just tighten it to the bottom there, like so. I haven't checked out some of our other products yet. Uh, we do make handles for the Ranger XD1500 side puller winch rack. So we have two small mounting holes here, um, and these handles will mount perfectly to it, giving you a nice place to grab onto the side of your machine, and it can kind of help you get up onto the side of your bed here. So if you haven't checked these out, this is also another really good accessory to add to your side puller winch rack. So that's going to conclude the installation video for the side puller winch rack for the Ranger XD1500. And if you have any questions, like I said before, refer to our website. We'll have a manual to download and we also have our machine fitment chart on there as well. Um, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe on our Facebook page and our Instagram. Um, and we just want to say thank you for choosing Razorback Off-Road for maximizing your off-road experience. And thank you for watching.